Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a chopped salad today. So um, some people have asked about it, so I'm gonna show you really quick. Super easy. Um, first thing I do is just grab some mixed greens, about maybe a cup and a half, and some spinach, just about a cup, throw in there. Um, you can pretty much put whatever you like. I do um, some purple onions. I do, I like a lot of cucumbers. Um, so I just throw them all in there. And um, you can put eggs in. I do. Um, I just, actually, we can break them up a little bit. Um, I also love pickles. So I tend to put a lot in there. That really is what gives it the juicy and the flavor to where you don't even need a um, salad dressing. And I do put a few sweet banana peppers in just for flavor. You don't have to if you don't want to. Easy peasy. Um, now, if you wanted to put cheese in, cheese is already shredded, so you don't really put that in until the end. Um, a meat if you wanted to do chick, grilled chicken breast, um, you would put that in there, you know, just break it up a little bit and then chunk it right with everything else. Um, sandwich meat, some turkey breast, whatever you want to put in. You would put in anything that would be want chopped up with it. This neat little thing I got on um, Amazon. It's a double-bladed chopper. You may be able to do this with like a pizza cutter, if you had a really good pizza cutter, or even if you have a, like a, a regular chopper, you could probably throw it all in there. But it chops pretty dang easy. You just chop it up. I know this part's kind of boring. Um, but you want it in really small chunks. But you want it to be able to really still see. This one kind of gets stuck. They have roller ones too. Um, I've never tried those, but those might be easy too. Um, but what you're looking to get is, you know, just enough to grab something of everything in each bite. So about, which I'll show you in the end, what size they tend to be. So you just kind of chop it all up. Now, at the end is when you put, if you're putting in um, shredded cheese, you'd put that in the end because it's already shredded. So you don't really need to chop that. Or if you already had shredded lettuce you were using, you wouldn't need to do that step with the lettuce. But see the difference between the whole and then the um, chopped up. And then what I do at the very end is um, add salt and pepper. Uh, and mix it thoroughly, you know, same thing if I'm putting a cheese in. I'll mix it all up with my hands and then put it on my plate. And I'm telling you, um, with the right amount of salt and pepper and all the flavors mixed together, you really don't need any dressing. It's, it just completely takes your salad to a whole nother level. And you just get it as as fine as you would like, as chopped up. I tend to like it pretty chopped. I don't like full leaves because that's really what makes the difference is the little tiny, tiny bite size of the different lettuces all at once, as well as the pickles and the eggs and all the cheese. But this is pretty good. You know, I kind of just stir it up and see if there's, you know, anything that's, Still too big of a chunk for me. And then what I do, make sure it's all in there. Uh, I'm not putting any cheese in mine uh, because I've had my cheese for the day. And all of that gets put in a bowl. This probably, this whole salad is probably, if I had grilled chicken breast in there, it'd probably be about 220 calories. So that's a lot of food for a very little, small amount, and literally it will fill you up. Um, this is the part when, you know, I add some natural sea salt and 
some black pepper and then you just dig in but as you can see with a fork you're getting a little bit of everything with each bite and it's just amazing I if you have not tried it I suggest you do um, and if you have you know just leave a comment below and let me know how you like it talk to you later bye